Gaming Bolt presents 15 Cruel and Dark Things You've Done in Video Games. We have a lot to talk about, so without wasting your time, let us begin right away. Please note that there may be spoilers ahead. Manhunt, chainsawing people's heads off. Manhunt might be one of the most brutal games ever made. You could put the controller down at any moment, but you just have to figure out what would really happen if you take that chainsaw and use it on that guy's face. The game would surely only show a little blood, right? No, it shows you slowly, agonizingly cutting your target's head off in visceral detail. Red Dead Redemption, the dastardly achievement. Red Dead Redemption, now backwards compatible on the Xbox One, is a classic western in every sense of the word. You can be the hero, sure, but you can also be an outlaw, gunning down sheriffs and robbing trains. But there's another thing you can do involving trains as well. If you're on horseback, you can lasso people up and drag them around. If you lasso a woman up, for example, and tie them to the train tracks like a dastardly 1920s western movie villain, the game actually rewards you with an achievement. Fallout 3 – Blowing Up Megaton have you ever wanted to nuke a town full of innocent? Well then, Fallout 3 is the game for you. In the town of Megaton, you can choose to detonate the bomb that the city is named after at the behest of a mysterious man working for Alistair Tenpenny. So why does he want Lucas Sims and his kid, Gob and the Stalls, and Lucy West to die? Because he can see the town from the top of his tower, and he thinks it looks ugly. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 – No Russian Modern Warfare 2's infamous No Russian level was clearly designed to elicit a response from people. You remember the one, where you had to go through an airport and shoot up a bunch of civilians to maintain your cover as an undercover operative, only to be killed at the end anyway? You and your friends mowed down hundreds of people, and in the end it was all for nothing anyway because the terrorists knew you were a spy all along. Remember, No Russian. Spec Ops The Line – Bomb the Camp of Civilians Spec Ops The Line is a brilliant game. In one scene, you come under attack and decide to use a nearby mortar to kill your assailants. You can see who's shooting at you, you don't know who they are, but you bomb them anyway. After the firing stops, you go down to the camp to survey the damage, only to find the people shooting at you were taking cover in a camp full of innocent refugees, including children. Are those... civilians? Where'd they come from? There's no camp here. They took them from the nest. That hotel back at the Stormwall? No, 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 those can't be the civvies that got kidnapped. It's not possible. Yeah, it is. That's why Gold stormed this place. He didn't want the king. He was trying to rescue his people. This is your fault, God damn it! Dead Space 2 – Drilling Out Your Own Eye Forcing the player to drill out their own eye is as cruel and twisted as you get, but that's exactly what Dead Space 2 made you do. Our protagonist Isaac needs a little machine that's in his head, and the only way to get it without killing him is by drilling it out through his eye. The only problem, aside from that being horrifying, is that there are no doctors around to do it. He, and by extension you, have to do it yourself. Oh. 
Roller Coaster Tycoon Building a coaster and letting it crash. Roller Coaster Tycoon is a great game. They really don't make them like this anymore. Like, for instance, how you can intentionally build a faulty roller coaster, allow people on, and watch them crash and die. It's not like the modern versions of Roller Coaster Tycoon or similar games where the passengers are magically okay. No, they die in a horrifying explosion. You can hear them screaming in agony as their flesh melts and their bones turn to ashes. Grand Theft Auto V – Using a Machete In GTA V, you get to use a machete as one of your weapons. It should also come as no surprise that using the machete is an incredibly vicious, awful, slow, and painful way to kill people. You can go in first person as well and watch as people flee in terror, only to be struck down by your bloody blade. The Sims – Torturing Your Sims Everyone has a story of torturing the little Sims in the classic life management game, The Sims. Maybe you lock them in a room with no doors or windows. Maybe you put them in a pool with no ladder and watch them drown. Maybe you put the ashes of a dead Sim in their child's room. The Sims gives you a lot of ways to torture people, and seeing the Sims happy only to crush their dreams for your own amusement can be unexpectedly soul-crushing sometimes. Grand Theft Auto V – Trevor's Torture Scene Oh look, it's Rockstar again! They certainly know how to present a dark and twisted scenario. In one scene, you have to torture a guy to get information about what a target looks like so Michael can shoot him. You have a plethora of tools at your disposal. From a car battery to electrocute him, pliers to yank out his tooth, to even waterboarding. You have to control each minigame, and all the while the guy is screaming and Trevor is laughing his head off. Please don't! It shouldn't be legal! No! It's... It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! Come on! Come on. Getting a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic – Force Zalbar to Kill Mission In Knights of the Old Republic, you'll run into a Wookiee named Zalbar and a woman named Mission. At one point, your character saves the life of Zalbar, and by some Wookiee code, he'll owe you for life. As part of paying you back, you can force Zalbar, using Jedi mind powers, to kill Mission for your own amusement. Mission will plead for her life, and Zalbar will keep apologizing and asking for forgiveness. By the time he snaps out of it, it's too late. Please, Zalbar, don't do this! Please! No! Oh. Die already! Oh. Oh. Life is Strange – Sacrificing an entire town for Chloe Life is Strange presents you with a big choice at the end, so spoilers. You find out that the big storm about to wipe out the town, full of the people who you befriended over the course of the game, was caused by your time-traveling powers. You can go back in time and stop it from ever happening, but doing so will result in the death of Chloe. Chloe actually begs you to go back in time and let her die, to save her mom and all her friends. But you can say screw that and together watch the town be destroyed. After it's over, you're driven through the carnage and see bodies lined up in the streets. Throwing NPCs off high buildings Many open-world games allow you to climb to the top of a building. Sometimes you'll find NPCs up there, or maybe you've led them up there, or maybe just forced them up there somehow. You have one goal in mind when you get to the top – throw somebody off. You find someone, and you kick, punch, shoot, or stab them near the ledge and watch them plummet to the ground. Infamous 2 – Destroying All of Humankind at the end of Infamous 2, again, spoilers, you discover the big monster coming to wipe out the world is actually there to destroy humans, leaving those with powers alone. You can choose to stop the monster, but doing so will result not only in your death, but the deaths of everyone on Earth with powers too. But if you choose to help the monster to save your life, you'll have to kill your best friend to make it happen. This will result in the death of all of humankind, leaving only those with superpowers left standing. John transferred his powers into me, and then he just let go. 
The blast was devastating, but worth it. New conduits had been activated, all of them healed of the plague. We said goodbye to our old lives and got to work mastering our new abilities. It was a job to do. Millions were still infected and all of them would die within weeks. We were living proof that some of the sick could be saved. I could raise them up, creating new conduits. Sure, the odds were only one in a thousand, but it was better than nothing. Of course, the rest of the world didn't agree, reacting in the only way they knew how. The plague just sped up the inevitable, an evolutionary jump. Humanity giving way to conduits. I'd been given powers to save the world from this change. But now I stand at its center. I have become the beast. Metal Gear Solid 3, killing the boss. Your goal in Metal Gear Solid 3 is simple and clear, kill the boss. It's the boss's final mission to die to her protege to prevent nuclear annihilation. But there's an unintended side effect. The death of the boss resulted directly in not only the Patriots, the evil organization that took control over the world, but the war between Big Boss and the Patriots. In that war, countless people would die, including Big Boss and his cloned sons Solidus and Liquid Snake in the end. In other words, this is when Big Boss loses his head. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.